everyone, it's Mari here for Honeybee Stamps. I'm going to be creating this card for you today using my Zig markers and the gorgeous Sending Christmas Joy collection from Honeybee. And these are the products from that Sending Christmas Joy. Uh, we've got that gorgeous stamp set on the right, which is stunning, and of course a coordinating die on the left. This was designed by Kelly Taylor for Honeybee Stamps, and I just love it. It is of course, as always from Kelly, just so, so gorgeous. I'm, go I'm going to start off here with some watercolor paper in my Misty, and I'm going to ink up the stamps here with some clear embossing ink. And so I'm just going to go ahead and give that a really good press. And I'm going to put some white embossing powder over top of that embossed embossing ink stamped image or images there. And that embossing powder, of course, is going to adhere to that clear ink. And that is going to allow me to go ahead and do some heat embossing with these images. I'll just shake off the extra embossing powder. I've put that away. And now I've got my heat tool here. I'm just going to go ahead and heat up this embossing powder until it melts. And that's just going to give me this really great bunch of florals to go ahead and watercolor. So I'm just waiting for all of those different little bits to turn shiny and melt. And once I have that all done, I will be ready to go ahead and add some pigment to these images here. So I'm going to be using a mid green and a blue gray Zig marker. Of course, these are really, really great for watercoloring because they are a water-based marker. And I've just added a little bit of water to the image first with my brush. And then I went in with the marker added the pigment and then of course blending it out with my brush and I'm really trying to um, manage the amount of water on my watercolor paper with my brush so once I get that water added onto the image if I need to take some of the water off I just absorb that with my dry brush and if I need to obviously add some water in I just dip my brush into my container and then go ahead and work on um, just you know drawing out that pigment in that way so these brushes are really super easy to work with they're pretty similar to the Karen markers um, they work in a basically in the same way um, the tips of the brush or the actual brush itself is a little bit different on the Karen marker than on the Zig um, but I haven't used these for quite a while and I thought I would just pull them out today they are really fun to use and they do make watercoloring really really easy so you can just see here, I'm just doing that same process over and over again, adding the water first to the paper, going in with the marker, and then just blending that pigment out on the petals. And you can go back in and drop in more color uh, if you need to add more shadows and shading and so on. But um, I definitely did that as I worked through this process, wherever I wanted to deepen up any of the, the dark gray that I'm putting in there. And then the green that I'm using, like I said, is just that mid green. And it's just really, really pretty with this blue gray. And you can just, there's not actually that many leaves in this um, floral bouquet, but just enough to add that little pop of green. I love that. And I did do the centers of the flowers in green as well. And now they're all finished up there. Really gorgeous and ready to go ahead and die cut. There is a coordinating die for all of these different images, which is fantastic. And so when this is all dry, I do go ahead and take that to my die cutter and cut those diff different images out. And I'll just set those aside until I'm ready to go ahead and put those onto my card front today. So loving how that is looking. This stamp set is just so easy to work with. Beautiful, beautiful. Now this is the new 3D brick embossing folder from Honeybee and the Cozy Christmas Collection. And I'm going to just take my white piece of cardstock here and go ahead and run that through this 3D embossing folder with my die cutting machine. And that's going to give me just this really, really great brick background for my florals. Once I have that done, I'm just taking it to my trimmer and I'm going to trim it to a really nice small size. It gets about four by three when I get it all trimmed down. And that is going to be just the perfect size to back my florals for my card front here. So just getting that so that I've got just kind of like the bricks are even on the top and the bottom. And now I've just also cut out a mat for the brick piece here. 
out of some navy blue cardstock. And then I also used the Sending Christmas Joy die that's like the postage die. I die cut that from some gray cardstock and adhered that onto my white top folding card base. So I'm just going to put the brick onto that mat. I've added a little bit of foam adhesive onto the navy cardstock. I'll center that onto the gray and I like that combination. I think it's really kind of nice and soft, but the navy is just that really nice pop of darker color there. And it goes really nicely with the blue gray in the zig markers. So I'm just adding some foam adhesive onto the back of this floral bouquet. I'll go ahead and add that onto the brick. And then I'm going to add these other die cut pieces over, over top. I'm going to overlay this over top of the large floral uh, below it. And then um, the same with this other little bud. Now you could add these over to the side or whatever. It's just that my card front is my, my focal point area is fairly small. So I just thought it would be kind of cool to layer these in that way. Now I'm going to take a little bit of white splatter and splatter this over top of the entire front of the car just to give it that little bit of dimension. And then once I'm finished that, all I have to do is stamp out and die cut my sentiment from the Sending Christmas Joy uh, set and it will all be finished. I did want to just say that this obviously is not a traditional Christmas card look. It is very non-traditional, sort of like Christmas colors. But what I wanted to show here with this video is this set is definitely beautiful for the holidays, but you could definitely use it all year round. Thanks for joining me today, friends. All of the products I've used today are linked up in the description box below. I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.